Pete Radcliffe, Broxdale CLP, supporting Composite 3, in which our motion for my constituency was incorporated. Our trade union movement, in many ways, faces a battle over the next few years that it's never faced before. It is likely that we will see trade unionists again facing criminal charges and imprisonment for trying to defend their members. But the problems of our trade union movement don't only lie in the future, they also lie in the past. For years, our unions have been trying to defend their members with their hands tied behind their backs. We have had to keep union databases up to date with our members' addresses and exact locations of work. The smallest discrepancy uh, was used to discount the results of our ballots for industrial action. We've had to dodge any categorization of our strikes as political, even though our members needed to defend themselves from the political actions of the government and their employers. We are denied taking action in support of other workers, even those those workers often work alongside us and share our problems. Sympathy action, solidarity action, political action should be the democratic right of all our trade unionists. In, instead, they are currently illegal. It is our duty to support workers who have difficulty defending themselves because of their responsibilities. The proudest action I ever took as a trade unionist in the steel industry before Thatcher near, near as much destroyed it was to go on strike in support of nurses and health workers in 1981. <clears throat> that right, that right to take action was taken away from us during Thatcher's onslaught on us. We should celebrate the desire of workers to demonstrate solidarity on our movement. We should not allow it to remain illegal. Our trade union movement should have had and should have again the right to question and take action against the political actions of the government, whether it be the privatization of the services or the provision of arms and support to the prisons of the fascist flogging and beheading Saudi Arabia, we should have the right to take action as trade unionists. <clears throat> and, and on that matter, can I applaud the action of Jeremy Corbyn for speaking out against this Ministry of Justice's contract to supply the Saudi prison system. The prison system The prison system that either today, tomorrow, or God knows when is likely to crucify um, an activist for free speech. It's not only ISIS that does that, it is also Saudi Arabia. Our, our trade unions have the right, if they choose, to take solidarity, ac solidarity action. Democracy is not just votes in Parliament. Democratic rights, trade union rights, should be the right of every worker. Our trade unions, as they move forward against this insidious trade union bill, need to know that this party is 100% behind them and that we restore the rights taken away from them, not only now, but in the days of Thatcher as well. Let's be clear in our support for them today, comrades. Let's give them solidarity and you please unanimously pass this motion. Thank you.